Welcome to a new video. Yesterday I unboxed the brand new MatePad 11. If you didn't see the video, just click somewhere here to see the unboxing. What I want to show you in this video is the special features of the uh, keyboard, the magnetic keyboard that you can see here. And of course the pen, the M Pencil 2 and what you can do with this. These are special and accessories for the MatePad series and might be very interesting for you if you want to buy the MatePad. So I thought it might be interesting for you as well to know what kind of special features you can get with the keyboard and the M Pencil. So let's get started. So let's check out the magnetic keyboard on the brand new Mate Pad 11. So first of all, what we can do with this, even if it is if it is attached, but it is uh, not on the device itself, or it is not like it's in standby, what we can do is like press any key to wake it up. And if face recognition works fine, it will unlock as well for me as well. What we can see on the keys on the top row is that we have some extra keys. But first of all, I let me tell you about the layout. You can see it's a Quartz layout. It's a German keyboard layout because I bought it here in Germany. So you get the U, E, E keys here and some special characters. And if you are used to the American keyboard layout, it's a bit diff different here. But in general, what you will also get on the American version is, or the British version, is the new FN key, which allows you to do certain functions. And you can see those functions here written on the top of the first row. So, for example, I have the option here with this FN key, if I press it, to change the brightness of the screen. As you can see here, it's working pretty nice. Then there's nothing here, but I can also change the volume, just like on a laptop. You can see it on the side, volume goes up and down. And also can press uh, volume uh, mute and uh, mute again to go back to my previous volume. I can lock the device by pressing this. And of course, unlock the device as well. And I have some other options like here, for example, taking a screenshot, which is also with the FN key, which is a bit cumbersome eventually um, because a normal screenshot button would be cool, but also like knocking the knock feature can be enabled as well if you like to. Then we have the uh, backspace key that if you press the uh, FN key, it also acts as a delete key. Then we also have like the add key here. We have a euro sign symbol. We have some extra symbols that we can reach with the alt gr key here on this side. We have the escape key, which might be very interesting. Let me go, for example, into my terminal application and uh, it's installing some stuff. But if I install, if vi would be installed, vim is not installed. If I would have vim, then I use, should need the uh, escape key, especially there's a virtual one but a physical one might be even better. Then there's this button. I can, for the sake of it, not f figure out what this button does because basically I'm pressing it, it's doing nothing. It is. It looks like a, yeah, an app drawer button or something like this, but it's doing nothing for me. If you know what this key is doing, you can tell me. Otherwise, if you have difficulties, what key combinations and shortcuts can do, you can go into the system let me show you it like this maybe uh, you can go into system and you can go into language and input and then you can go into um, i think i have to have to have it attached more input settings ah yeah i have to have it attached physical keyboard and then you have the option to show short uh, shortcuts so what you can do is you can press this button together with the enter key to go home or the D key to go home. So it acts a little bit like a Windows or super key. So I can press the D key here or I can also if I'm uh, I can press Alt tab to go to my last application. Alt tab is working fine. And of course, I can then press uh, this this uh, super key and the enter key to also go to the desktop. And then we have some other options like I can have the back navigation either by swiping or also by pressing again this key and the backspace key to go one step back. As you can see, it works nicely. Alt tab, recents, I can press Alt tab and hold it to go into this overview. If I let go of Alt, it will go to the uh, last uh, application. But I can also, as you can see here, switch between 
uh, the last applications that I used and so I can uh, like go for example into uh, gspace and it's just directly going into gspace and the next thing that I want to show to you let's go back to the settings and to the language and input settings and uh, physical keyboard keyboard shortcuts the lock screen one there's also another option which allows you to have uh, um, the, the button and L for locking the screen. There are keyboard shortcuts. You can press this and SS. I'm not sure what this uh, is meant with this because if I press S, nothing will really happen. Um, let's go back. I can use the new keyboard shortcut, okay. Mm, nothing really happens as you can see here. So I don't get this one. But, uh, and I have to go back in, this is basically what you can do with the, the physical um, keyboard. So you have some convenience features as well. What is important, I think, is for you, if you have multiple languages set up, just like I have German here and English, for example, I can change the keyboard layout by pressing Control and Space. If I press Control and Space, you can see it's to the auto default one, which is, yeah, automatically choosing the keyboard layout for you. English, US and German. So I can switch between those if I want to. Then there are some other application shortcuts, like I can also open up applications and I would like uh, Huawei to add an option to yeah, get more of those here or assign them manually. Like I can open up the contacts application by pressing the uh, super key and C and then contacts will open up. And of course I can also, let's go back here, I can also have the my music application by pressing this here and in this case it's going to Spotify for some reason and Spotify is not opening up for some reason uh, and yeah you can not really change this which is a bit weird I think what you can change is the default application in the uh, applications in under apps and when you go here to default apps you can maybe yeah, the Huawei Home Browser and Assistant in Voice Input and App Links, maybe you can change the default music player. Music can change it to, yeah, it is already the music player. So I'm not sure why Spotify is here in the keyboard shortcuts. So this maybe needs a little bit of more work. Then when it comes to keyboard shortcuts in general, like in applications like the browser, if I'm here watching one of my videos, the usual keyboard shortcuts like Control T for opening a new tab is not working. Control W for closing the tab is not working on this one. Uh, alternative browsers might work. Uh, let me search for Firefox. This is also, by the way, a nice way to launch applications. You can just swipe down or just start typing uh, just start typing doesn't work, but you have to swipe down there, start typing and then hit enter. And usually it should launch the first application. In this case, it doesn't. Uh, let's try Firefox if I can open up new tab. No, I cannot open up a new tab. And those uh, shortcuts for opening and closing tabs are not working here as well. And um, there might be other applications like Vivaldi browser that might have this. Yes, Vivaldi browser has the option with control T to open up a new tab. As you can see here, control L to go in here and I can, for example, go to the uh, Huawei.de website. And I can also use control tab to switch between a new tab and a tab, as you can see here. So this is working. I can guess only that on Chrome or Chrome based applications, uh, just like Vivaldi or Bromide or um, how was the other uh, Brave call, uh, web browser, it will also work like this. So this is what's working. Then, of course, in such browsers, you can use the space key to scroll down and up here. You can also use the FN key and then the page up one to go one page up, page down or position one or position or the end position, the end key to go up and down. So this works on certain browsers, but not on all. So you the, the Huawei browser itself uh, doesn't have this feature. Let me try this. No, what, what it does here is like changing the volume, I think, uh, for some reason. And uh -huh, the player because I'm in the YouTube stuff you know, in here. Yeah, I can scroll down a little bit through the links. Let's go maybe to also the Huawei website. 
and let's see if scrolling is working here with the keys yes it's working here fine with the keys except all cookies the space key it acts as if i'm pressing like a link that was marked with the uh, keyboard uh, alt and back is not working for going back i have to press in here or swipe back uh, the fn page down and page up is working and the position keys are working as well for the web browser so some convenience feature feature would be like adding a control t to open up a new tab um, not sure if you can set it up in settings somewhere but or if there's another key for this that you have to press like t key or uh, i pressed space again it's clicking a link or something like this so there are some limitations still regarding the keyboard and i hope huawei will add like the control t control w for closing and open up new tabs for example or the alt uh, back key for going uh, one page back is the backspace working by the way it's not working as a back key so yeah a few things needs need still to be done regarding the keyboard Let's come to the M Pencil 2 from Huawei. If I have it connected to my MatePad 11 and the display is turned off, I can just tap here to bring in my notes. And I have some notes here. And uh, yeah, I can show you a new note here. I can like uh, draw stuff. I can change pencils in here. And I can draw stuff if I want to. I can write something. This is for quick notes. As you can see here but what i can do also with the new pencil is double tap here to switch to the eraser and then i can just erase what i wrote here and uh, double tap again to go back and what i can do here is like if i want to have a circle you can see it's not very perfect so erase that go back do the circle again press and hold and it auto detects like i want to draw, draw a circle this is more ellipse let's try it again it detects like that I want to draw a circle and creates a circle and in this case that time it worked. It also works with other things like this for example. It detects the box. Uh, stars should in general also work. But in this case it draw a cloud because my stars are too bad. But you can also have lines straighten by press and hold. Um, what I did not see is like something like this don't think it detects uh, an arrow or something like this but in general you have some detection features here as well so this is the first the normal uh, notepad application and you can find your notes if i go here recognize my face under the notepad application but there's more that you can do with your pen First of all, let's swipe down and I will have an input field here. I want to write something in here, just like, for example, I want to start uh, Firefox. I can just write Firefox and it just types in Firefox. This works pretty much for all of the input boxes on the system. So if I'm also in the web browser, I want to go to a different website, just like, for example, I want to go to... Uh, youtube.com you can see even if i'm writing very very badly it still uh, is uh, detecting pretty much uh, the writing that i did then there's some applications two applications that huawei ships on the tablet called my script calculator which is this calculating application where i can just write stuff like uh, let me try to clear and write cannot write anything uh, let's go back. Some calculations. I can change the calculations and I can drag the result in here and uh, multiply it by four, for example, and it will give me results here. So this is pretty handy, especially I think for schoolwork. If you want to do certain things, I can also do like edit this like this. It doesn't make much sense but it is possible to do such edits so i was asked if this tablet can be used for schoolwork i think for such calculations writing them down and and it's a nice little addition and can work pretty fine the other option is the nebo application which allows you to have uh, notebooks and notes 
so I can create a new notebook or can go in here where I have like basic uh, interactions that it shows me here like the erase uh, gesture I can scratch out unwanted text the break gesture the join gesture double tap we can also show it to you I think I made a video about it already a uh, new notebook, uh, notebook name, test and create and I want to create a new page in here, normal new page. I can just write here, this is a test and what I can do is detect it here, the text and I can double tap and transform it into a, a text which is pretty nicely, especially if you have done some handwritten work um, notes from your lecture or something like this you want to convert them to a normal text file to share them and of course you have also a marker here so I can mark this here and when it's something important or something like this it's working pretty nicely and uh, there are some other options here as well I can change the color I have the erasure erasure tool I have this tool what, which allows me if I have like uh, this is not text a text document but I have, if I have some um, uh, uh, some stuff that I want to delete, like for example, um, and I want to re delete the bad in here, I can go in here. I have this marked, and I can then say delete, and it's now deleted, and I can then. Uh, uh, just have a good tablet here double double tap and uh, now I have this text changed so this is possible it's a basic application it works for notes pretty good but of course some people who will go into lectures they don't want to maybe use this they want to use some other applications they want to use some Microsoft Office applications for example and I can tell you that Microsoft Office Word for example is working nicely allow you can allow to log in probably and you can open word documents uh, don't want to add this here and you can get started here not now take a tour create new documents as well if i want to create a blank document here i have to sign in for this but it works and the same goes for the microsoft OneNote that people like to use for creating notes and i created already a note here and uh, let's go here uh, write test for example here I cannot double tap to to do anything because I'm in draw mode I have a view mode as well uh, but I have all the powers um, of the Microsoft OneNote as well like uh, inserting notes here and uh, text and whatever I want to do is possible with Microsoft OneNote as well and I can then share this uh, page delete this page add it to home screen and so on so this is also working so these are the basics of the uh, pen and the keyboard if you have some questions uh, regarding those i will also link to you the older videos that i did specifically on the myscript calculator and nebo app which are a little bit longer and more in detail um, you can write them down in the comment section that is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye